melt those cores with guns blazing and hail the undisputed king of literal damage per second. Today's all about the gunner, let's go. At first glance, you might think that gunners are weak yet fast, but we're here to tell you that they are strong, fast, yet buggy. Before we proceed, I just want to let everyone know that at the moment, gunners have a problem with the core skill, especially with multi-weapons. Despite all that, it still deals a truckload of damage. Gunners are condensed into one simple skill, Chain Trigger. Knowing when and when not to activate this skill is essential to maximize your DPS, especially during downs or breaks. You can literally get all the skills and still be a beast. Taking spread shot though would be a personal choice, but knowing that there's an existing bug with multi-weapons, I'd prefer to stay away from that. This class can dish out a lot of damage on its own. It is also one of your smoothest transitions if you came from a melee class. So you basically have three critical distances near, far, and literally wherever you are. Melee range grants you a solid 20% potency boost, medium range starts when the orange reticle disappears and grants roughly around 10% bonus potency, and anywhere beyond that range is just your usual. The parries feel normal, yet some say it's bugged. I found no issues with it, but if you did lately, please let us know down in the comments. So Chain Trigger. This activates once you release a charged PA. After getting to 100, your next charged PA damage will increase for up to 20%. Note that this only applies to the released PA, so when releasing your Chain Trigger, make sure it counts at the right spot like a Ranger Blight or Core for some optimal damage. Releasing it on a normal area should be your last resort. I cannot stress how important this skill is as your boost in DPS relies on it. Quick Reload and Chain Boost come hand in hand after using Chain Trigger. The former reduces your trigger cooldown starting from 27 to 2 seconds, so the longer the chain, the faster the cooldown. Boost gives you a nasty 20% attack speed boost and faster weapon action speed. So see, everything gets crazy from here, because all of your active attacks now have a speed boost. Your normal attacks paired with a level 9 to 10 PP recovery will generate around 40 PP in total divided into 3 stages, all with decent damage. See, 2 cycles should be enough for you to get your PP back to shape, but it's actually a little bit faster if you spam weapon action with normal attack. It's a small gap, but good to master once you get a hang of it. The moment you do, you can play around stylish roll arts to add to that DPS as this increases the damage of your style rolls at the cost of 10 PP. Lastly, Strike Back gives you a 20% potency boost on the next PA you cast after successfully dodging with weapon action. I'd like to say that, in a perfect situation, releasing this along with 100 chain should be the peak of your damage output, but in a real situation, is not as easy, so it's advisable to release this right away even if you're still building your chain count. Onslaught may not feel like much, but it does have its uses. You can utilize this skill in melee range, so it's a good tool if you like to get it up close and personal. It's stronger than your normal parries too. It's also a very good filler skill. On to the exciting part, the Photon Arts. Bullet Rave is your core chain builder, as this fires 17 bullets, is the fastest, and has a low cost of 22 pp. Easy to maneuver and quick to cancel, you can absolutely get crazy dodging and rolling around, so we suggest two methods for chain building. First would be firing up to stage 3, normal attack, and then use bullet rave again, rinse and repeat. This allows you to stay mobile while barely losing any PP in the process. However, if you want a safer option, we recommend switching your stage 1 normal attack into a stylish roll plus normal attack. It takes a little bit of practice, but I have a secret. If you subscribe to the channel, the pew pew gods will bless you with faster fingers. Yeah, 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 I tried. Aimless Rain is your mob clearing tool and is the go-to PA when building up chain count within a mob. Stage 1 can be cancelled by sidestepping, attacking, or weapon action, while Stage 2 can only be cancelled with weapon action. You can jump to the direction of choice during Stage 1, but note that you are highly vulnerable after that. Point Blank may look weak on paper, I mean what's this disgusting 330 potency, but this is actually your go-to charge spam skill. You see, unlike the Hunter, Gunners take only half the time to fully charge a skill. You don't lose out on DPS that much if you commit to a charge. With 80 plus frames for 330 potency, you can rest easy knowing you're hurting Petas Vera for the 999th time in the most stylish way possible. Note that you can dash before the two shots by holding down the forward key and this is best used with a full attack speed boost for some nasty damage output. Did I mention it only cost 20 PP? 
Yeah, it's absolutely spammable. Photon blasts are a little bit tricky if used on a single target. It's advisable to stay close to the weak point as the damage registration prioritizes the closest target during boss downs. If done wrong, you might end up hitting the normal areas instead of the core, so make sure you stick close to it. For the weapons, it's the usual. The choice between Theseus, Cotillia, Straga, or Glisten. See, Straga and Cotillia are the endgame choices, and Glisten's the cheaper alternative with utility via elemental downs. However, I'd like to point out that Theseus is catching up on performance for roughly half the total price. It's not the best, but it's really catching up. Since most of your attacks are multi-hit except for point blank, you can actually have more chances of dealing critical hits. Simply put, you get more crits out of 1000 compared to 100. I'm currently using a Theseus with a level 3 Fatale and the results were amazing. The gunner might actually be the most efficient class for now in terms of utilizing critical hit chance. But of course, again, it's not that much compared to the raw damage of Straga. It's the perfect entry weapon though. For subclasses, we'd really recommend going for Force as a priority and Hunter or even Fighter if you want to try something different. It goes without saying that PP conversion and eradication gain from Force is a massive factor in DPS during boss towns or mom clearing. Hunters make up for your lack of survivability, while fighters give you a damage oomph towards downs. At this point, I'm not really sure if it's worth grabbing multi-weapons, as again, it's bugged. But if ever it gets fixed, having a ward lance or talus would suffice. Heck, throw in the launcher if you want to fire in the laser. Again, multi-weapon at your own risk. Thank you so much for watching and we hope this guide helped you out. Thanks to all the subscribers that participated in the community poll. We were so, so happy with the number of votes we got from it. Thank you so much, fellas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's it for now. Peace, be nice, stay safe, and I love you. I love you, fam. Thank you.